Hi there, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a pretty simple 2D game inside of Godot Mobile. So, the easiest and most straightforward way of actually uh, adding a joystick because I want to move our player with the joystick is basically going to the asset library here on the top. And here you can actually search for uh, any asset. So, you can just look for joystick. And also, if you find uh, this message over here, just press go online and then you can search for it again and we are going to be downloading this okay virtual joystick with this icon by marco facio so we are going to click over there and then press download here uh, on the bottom then let's press install and once that we have this window it means that everything is okay so now let's come back to the, to the environment with this button over there and now in the add-ons folder here on the left okay we are going to be able to see well, a lot of files and uh, stuff. If we double click this scene over here, we are going to open it up. Also with these sliders here on the right, we can move up and down and with this one from left to right. So well, this is just uh, the virtual joystick scene. But also, okay, we have over here in the file system a test scene inside of the test folder. So we can double click it or well, double press it in this case. And we already have here a scene that we can use so i'm going to use this button over here at the top this one okay to run the current scene so let's now give it a second and well as you can see here i have a player okay that i can move around with my left joystick and with the right one okay i am able to change its angle so this is a uh, basically just like there a game but i want to show you some extra settings and also i want to add more stuff to this game first of all i don't want to have this right joystick okay i don't really like how it works and it is not so realistic so i just want to delete so i will firstly just uh, select it so i will just press on there make sure that you do not rename it you just have over there like selected in light blue then hold down exactly in the in the node icon so not directly in the name because if not you're going to rename it but in the icon in this uh, red uh, sorry green dot and then while you're holding down your click you will um, just look for the corresponding option so i am going to release the click right here so now i'm going to do scroll down and press over here delete okay so now we only have one joystick and we can uh, go to the player okay and open up the script so over here i want to, be able to actually read through how this script actually works but it is actually quite uh, simple uh, we have basically a move vector over here so let me i will just use here my uh, i am mirroring my my device okay so i'll just use here my mouse cursor to show you uh, so we have this move vector uh, variable that basically well gets all the corresponding input actions okay for us to be able to calculate the direction okay and then we take this direction and we multiply it by a certain speed declared at the beginning of our script and lastly uh we we also multiply that result by delta and also as you can see over here we are handling a uh, rotation but i don't want to be handling rotation uh so i will just uh, delete all that code a quick tip that i recommend you do is that you go to editor editor settings okay and then over here you can scroll down a little bit until you find text editor okay and over here behavior and here you can enable scroll past end of file like this you will be able to scroll down even more so maybe until here and now i'm going to be able to actually delete all this code much much uh, easier if actually here Godot wants me to delete this there we go and also as i am not going to be having a, a right joystick i will delete as well let me show you this joystick right variable so there we have it i'm basically using this virtual joystick add-on because it is the easiest way of creating 2d movement for mobile of course there are many ways of doing this but well uh i just wanted to create something quite straightforward and also in this virtual joystick you can find that here you can modify like lots of things you can actually make this a little bit bigger 
it is sometimes a little bit complicated but as you can see if i press right in this gray line okay and i move it from left to right i am able to if i am accurate enough it's quite difficult uh well i am able to actually resize this inspector but well there you go have it you can modify different things okay so if you really want to you can go ahead and navigate through these options but now i want to add some coins to actually make it a game uh so first of all to add these coins i will select my my test node i will uh, press over here to add a new node and i want an area to the node why an area to the node um because this will allow me to uh, easily detect collisions with my player so if my coins collide with the player i want to do some stuff so having the node selected i will click over there again and i will rename it to coin with capital c and then as all areas they need some kind of collision shape so let's press over here create and then i will also add inside of that area a sprite to the okay so make sure that both the collision and the sprite are inside of the actual coin uh, node then for the sprite, okay, I will just use the exact same go dot icon. So I will drag and drop it in the texture or you can quick load it. So let's look for icon. Okay. Uh, and now we'll just make it smaller. So in the transform in scale, let's give it something like 0.5. And also in a canvas items visibility modulate, I will modify this modulate maybe to something like as if this was a coin okay also if you do this with your fingers you're going to be able to uh, zoom in or out a little bit and lastly that set up its collision shape a circle would work so now as you can see i do need to zoom in a little bit there we go and now let's make this something like this okay and we can also reorder this node so that we can actually see our collision shape so let's see if i'm able to do so there i have my collision shape so let's put it behind sorry on top of the sprite of course this can be a little bit complicated to do in the mobile phone but well it is what it is uh, and then inside of this coin i want to add a brand new script okay so uh, actually here i have the template i don't want to have any kinds of a uh, pre-written code and i will just save it in the root folder okay so right here and create so now inside of this script what i want to detect is when i collide with the player so i will select the coin and i will use body enter because uh, then i'm going to be adding um just um, a body to my player so that i can detect collisions with it and i will do it like this now for detecting collisions as accurately as possible uh, oh, sorry, I, I, I connected this signal to another place, so let me disconnect it. Um, so, as I was mentioning, firstly, let's make sure that we connect it to the coin, okay, and not to the virtual joystick. So, in order to detect this collision with a player, you can add the player to a group and check if the body is on that group. Uh, that would be the best way, but to just make these things a little bit faster, I will just check if body dot name is equal to player okay and, and if that is the case then uh, we are just going to be deleting ourselves basically the um the coin itself so let me scroll down here a little bit and select q3 if i am able to do so there you go you actually have to double click it so well, there we have the code now we just have to make sure that the player name is actually that one player with p in capital letter but our player is just a sprite so it's not going to be able to actually detect collisions so instead what i want to do is to add inside of it a character body 2d okay and then um inside now actually i want to select it so i will um hold down once again in the icon itself oh i don't want to do anything yet and while you're holding it down okay you will go to um actually uh reparent okay over here 
and then you will select your uh, player okay oh sorry actually firstly you have to drag it outside of the player itself so let me put it over here and then inside of here you can just drag and drop your your player sprite just like there and you will also add your corresponding collision shape as we have done with the coin so there we go and well now this script as you can see is attached to the to the sprites but i want to actually attach it to my character body so i will check which is this script so i will select the player sprite and here as you can see this script i can click it okay and as you can see here it says player.gd so let's try to find it over here in the file system over here it is inside of the test folder inside of the virtual joystick that is inside of the add-ons folder and i will drag and drop it okay if i am able to do so i, I think i have to hold down once again in the icon no so if not let's select our character body okay here in the hierarchy press the attach script button and here in path okay <clears throat> Let's go to add-ons, virtual joystick, test, exactly to this path, and select player, open, and here, load. Okay, so there we have this code. Now here in extends, we are not extending anymore from a sprite, we are extending for, from a character body to the. Remember to double click that option, okay? If you single click it, it is not going to be selected. And now let's delete the script from the player's sprite just by uh, selecting it and clicking in that button okay now let's also make sure that this character body is named player so that the collision is detected correctly and this is sprite 2d we can call it exactly that sprite 2d let me also increase this uh, speed to something like uh, 500 and then you could save this coin uh, as its own scene by holding down once again in the icon itself but in the coin icon not in the sprite over here right there and then here you will be able to press uh, save branch as scene but i am just going to create copies right over here okay you can by the way release the click as soon as that menu pops up so then you will be able to select the options a little bit easier okay i think that with four we are going to be having more than enough and lastly uh what we should do is basically uh, position uh, all these coins uh, around the screen so for example we'll select the first one using the move tool that is this one at the top i will move it right there the second coin i will move it over there i will scroll down here coin three over here and lastly coin four over here and now the final result that we get when we run the current scene is exactly this one okay so we are able to uh, collect these coins if you are serious about leveling up your goaded skills check out my course in less than six hours you'll master goaded fundamentals while building this amazing project links in the description see you there